We're going to take stock of how the markets have panned out today and uh, Neeraj is here to take us through that, Neeraj. Uh, so both me and Agam will take you through how the markets have shaped up. I'll start off with, of course, the large cap and the indices action. So the indices is about a percent lower than Nifty Bank, probably the principal culprit, 1.6% down. But you would have to say that it's not just banks really, they are the heavyweights. But oil marketing companies, commodity names have all come off. Mid caps and the small caps, I think the advanced decline changed hands during the course of uh, lunch and post that about a percent and a half down for the small caps, about a percent and a quarter for the mid caps. So playing as per script, to be honest. What about specific names so on the index? Let me start with the large caps. I will take you through the entire market action beyond that. Tata Motors, Tata Motors, DVR, Hero Motor Corp, and Aisha not featuring on the Sensex, but on the Nifty are amongst the top gainers. The losers, as I said, across the board, you have banks out here, commodity names like Tata Steel, um, Kotak Mahindra Bank, HDFC Bank, there was a Vedanta out here as well on the Nifty, Coal India amongst others. So a clutch of commodity, all marketing companies and banking names, really the main culprits in the session today. But what about the mid-cap setup? Yeah, Neeraj, you've already mentioned that we've seen a little bit of an inversion with respect to the advanced decline ratio in the latter half of the session uh, in the broader markets. And in the broader markets for now, there have been more losers in comparison to uh, gainers. I do want to start off with something like an HEG uh, because, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of weakness, especially after we've seen some reports coming in that in China, uh, at least a certain grade of graphite, uh, you know, that's where we've seen an erosion of prices. Of course, we also spoke to the management of HEG and they suggest that uh, China is not a competitor and the grades are completely different. Uh, moving in, we've seen some weakness in something like in Hexaware Technologies as well and uh, you know along with uh, a lot of weakness in several of the other mid-cap IT companies, Hexaware is also taking a little bit of a hit. Uh, do remember Hexaware uh, did see a lot of gains yesterday and this is largely on the back of uh, you know longs building up in, in the, the derivative space. Quality, on the other hand, is, uh, well, it's made an up move. It's locked in an upper circuit for now. And this is after, well, a turbulent last few days. Uh, this is, of course, after the management uh, did come up and clarify that it was one broker uh, that had fraudulently sold shares and has uh, now been absconding. Uh, of course, Reliance Power is the other stock which is doing very well in today's job trade and also one of the top gainers on the Nifty 500. Uh, so it's turning out to be a reasonably good day for uh, the Anil Ambani uh, stocks and finally let's take up HCC and us uh, you know that again really hasn't done uh, too well in today's year of trade uh, and uh, moving um, you know contrary to how the other construction companies have done HCC again showing a little bit of weakness so uh, on the whole uh, it mixed cues coming in but again uh, and the advanced decline ratio, not very encouraging. Actually, let's pull that up. Since Aga mentioned that, let's just pull up the advanced decline ratio first and then just the volume picture before we get in final thoughts from our experts. What Agam was saying, when it crisscrossed somewhere due lunch and then uh, a mirror image of what was the scenario pre-lunch, which is two advances for one declines, eventually ending uh, two declines for one advance. So the market breadth turned adverse, but the turnover should be interesting. Let's just see if we picked up some steam during the course of the day. The cash volume is certainly high. Actually, even the FNO volume is not too bad for something at the start of the series. I think the NSA FNO volume is also okay. The cash volumes are come fairly high. I wouldn't be surprised with the list of the losers as well. I think banks would feature right up there mm. if you look at the top uh, losers by weightage, I think, in the right. session today. Right. Neeraj, I would be very curious about how what FIs have done today, especially uh, with the turmoil in China and US. Uh, that said, of course, uh, as you guys can see, uh, we have seen a decline of around 100 points on the Nifty on account of that tension in the global markets. Uh, what's, you know, well, in positives, we're seeing a little bit of gain uh, in something like Tata Motors and uh, Aisha Motors, but otherwise nothing much to speak for. Uh, the heavyweight like in HDFC Bank is, uh, you know, contributing as much as 17 points to the decline on the Nifty and that's followed by another he heavyweight, that's LNT, that's also contributed nearly 11 points. HDFC once again has, uh, you know, down by as much as 9% and do remember uh, these are some of the counters uh, once again which have, uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, exposure from the foreign investor point of view. So it, we are likely to see uh, a high number in uh, going in. Uh, let's also to take a look at uh, how the nifty is done in intraday just to sum up and you know as you will see at the end of the day we have seen and we've ended at the day's low 
and we'll just have to wait and watch whether or not there is a little bit of recovery towards, uh, well, at least the starting of the session tomorrow. And doubtful considering what the Dow futures are doing.